Hey, it's Muriel of the Freedom Lifestyles Academy with another tutorial today about how to use Canva for branding. And what I will be sharing in this short video is everything that my husband Dirk and myself are using on a regular basis uh, to create a massive success in our online business our home-based business and how it helped us to stand out from the crowd how to be different than our competitors and how to help uh, our prospects to join us and not our competitors and I think that is what you want as well uh, you want to be different right and Canva is a great free tool and let me take you this is by the way our website of the Freedom Lifestyles Academy and a lot that we put on our website here the design is done in Canva so um, let me take you to my uh, private Canva account where I can show you how our brand look like. So again, our brand does not have to be your brand. Our brand is um, probably another style than yours. But um, let me share, let me start with the basics. So Canva is totally um, usable for so many different purposes. But we're here, I'm here to show you how to, how to brand yourself, right? Now, firstly, Canva is great because it's free and it has like multiple options here, you know, with the perfect um, sizes, uh, the custom dimensions for, for example, Facebook post, Facebook event cover for, for using on your blog, for using on Instagram, social media, a Facebook cover, um, and so many more. Let me, let me show you um, other options. Uh, for example, uh, YouTube channel art, um, just to mention a couple, right? Those, those ones that I just mentioned is the ones that we use most because we run our, uh, our business basically on Instagram. That's where our prospects come from, especially when you use with images, uh, branding is so important in Canva as prior. So this is, um, this is my personal, uh, personal designs and to give you a couple of ideas um, what might be cool for you is for example if you um, if you want to create a Facebook cover right that you can just uh, have the custom the custom size and and you add your picture uh, don't don't take it to make it too complicated if you have a logo and you have a picture of yourself that's basically already a brand right uh, by the way my best tip is not to create uh, a logo yourself I like to uh, to outsource um, specific business um, expertise um, stuff by experts and, and you find them on Fiverr. This is the website that's one of my favorite when it comes to creating, for example, a logo. But when the moment that you have your logo, so we, we have found a designer here on Logo. There are the multiple, multiple designers here to find who can create a logo for a couple of bucks. Um, now, the moment that you have your logo, you know, Canva is just a playground to, to use that. So as you can see, this is our um, uh this is our facebook cover that we used um for one of our facebook groups right so it's branded with our logo with our picture and uh yeah a beautiful image at the background but also um to take you to some other um examples uh let me get back to all my designs mm, okay here it is um the, for example, uh, here, this is YouTube. <laughs> this is a YouTube uh, thumbnail. Uh, this is what I used for a couple of my YouTube videos to, you know, catch the eye of people who are looking for, uh, for a tutorial. Here you see how to stand out from your competition. And this is totally what I created in Canva. Right, you can play around with the uh, with the uh, colors that you like. You can play around with uh, with with your logo. Again, you see 
having a logo is prior, but you don't have to spend thousands of dollars, um, you know, with a designer and, and neither do you have to, uh, to make it look really not professional by making it yourself. I know some people created on Canva, but that's, like I said, I, I create on, um, on Fiverr. I let it create on Fiverr. So this is just, you know, everything is possible here. <laughs> totally to your style. As you can see, we like colors and, um, uh, what is really why, why I like Canva so much is the moment that you have social proof to share. That, that can mean that you are distributing uh, other people's products or services because you're an affiliate marketer, right? Um, it's cool to share social proof um, and put your head on it. So this is, for example, one of my latest posts where we shared um, in the business opportunity that we distribute. Let me change myself to this, <laughs> uh, that if you put your own picture above numbers, it's it starts to be more compelling than just dropping um, screenshots of the back office of your business, right? Uh, and, and drop them on social media. People have the ability to join so many different people, but people don't join businesses, right? People join people. So don't be shy to share your pictures and just share yourself as you. <laughs> For example, I branded myself because we, my husband, and my, this is Dirk, my husband and myself, we live in the Netherlands, born and raised. Yes, we're going to move to Costa Rica in 2018, but of course our branding is also that we are the Dutchies. We're Dutch people and we happen to become uh, marketers and that helps us to stand out of the crowd because some people feel really attracted, especially because we don't we don't live in the, in the United States, but we do market to the United States, right? So branding also here, uh, you can add text, uh, you can add numbers, and this is just um, based on a screenshot of the sales that we recently made, right? 5,000 plus in sales is really worth to share. Now, again, it doesn't have to be all about big numbers to brand yourself. Just for example, um, where is it? Uh, let me show um, here a nice, uh, a nice marketing post that I use to, um, to brand and to promote um, Dirk and my a Freedom Lifestyles Academy Workshop Intensive. Uh, we run uh, three months live courses, and this is just a great way to share a screenshot of my Zoom uh, that I do on a weekly basis with our students, where you see the heads of the students, but just add a nice quote and add some nice colors. And add here, you see ourselves here. It doesn't always have to, have to include your picture, but play around with the colors that you're like, put your logo on it or not, just make it your own. And that is uh, more compelling than a dry picture um, that so many other people are sharing. There are many other people sharing screenshots of meetings, right? But I personally, myself, would like to look into a more colorful screenshot uh, of an uh, online meeting and, and make it makes me curious, you know, what are these people doing, right? So that was another example on how to, how to make that nicer. Okay, and also um, what I like and what is really easy to do is, um, is to make combinations, right? Um, how do you, where's the best example? Um, yeah, so for example, this one, how to use pictures on pictures and add colors. And you can make it as complicated as you want a really simple way. Here you see that, of course, again, I had a screenshot of the back office to show the world that our team is duplicating, right? And I added text and I added our pictures and I added really um, eye-catching colors and I, I added frames and there is basically um, endless, endless, limitless possibilities to brand yourself um, and in your business using Canva. Uh, all these, um, all these options here are talking for itself. You can use shapes, ready to go shapes, lines, illustrations, charts, icons. So you can basically add anything on on your image, right? If you want to use this on there and create it the size that you want, the color that you want, whatever, 
it's so super easy. And the cool thing about Canva um, is to that it saves all the designs that you have created in the past, so you can easily reuse them. Um, especially in a series uh, when you are, you know, on a consistent base, basis, for example, sharing um, sharing that you do workshops, then you can use the same layout and just edit it a little and then you're done. So I hope this, uh, this tutorial was helpful for you. Don't be shy to send me a personal message on Facebook. Um, I will show you how my Facebook profile looks like. Um, it's Muriel Dijkema. I won't bother you to ask you to say it out loud because I have a Dutch name. But this is my uh, my Facebook. And um, hey, if you happen to have a home-based business, so here's my name. If you happen to have a home-based business and you do not know how to build your business without harassing, pitching, chasing your friends and family, and strangers the freedom lifestyles academy is here to help you build your marketing wheel uh, just check um, visit the link around this video and learn more and, and you know if you don't have a business yet but you are just you know dreaming about uh, starting one and you just want to take the um, the fast track then I also recommend you to take a look at um, um, uh, the other link that I shared, uh, autoprofitsdesign.com, where you can learn more about a ready-to-go franchise business that besides um, coaching and private mentoring our own students with our own products in our own Freedom Lifestyles Academy, that is the business opportunity high ticket that we distribute really, really successfully. And that could be a benefit for you too if you want to have a home-based business uh, working online and using Canva. Just, you know, apply everything that I shared here. Just take a look at the link that I shared. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you somewhere on the internet. And, uh, well, I hope that you can work it out with Canva. So enjoy your day. This was Muriel from the Freedom Lifestyles Academy. Bye for now.